terminology is the following. 966 is the dividend. 5 is the divisor. 193 is the quotient. And 1 is the remainder. Thus, it is true that the dividend is the divisor times the quotient plus the remainder. From the previous slide, we know that the dividend is the divisor times the quotient plus the remainder. Do not forget that the remainder is always smaller than the divisor. For the example shown below, when the integer n is divided by 7, the remainder is 2. Which of the following could be a possible value of m? Here, we can apply the division formula. The dividend is n, the divisor is 7, let q be the quotient, and 2 is the remainder. This means that n is a multiple of 7 plus 2. Therefore, n minus 2 is always a multiple of 7. We need to find a possible value of n. So we have to start trying with the choices. For instance, if n is 14, then 14 minus 2 must be a multiple of 7. 14 minus 2 is 12, and 12 is not a multiple of 7. But therefore, choice A is discarded. Now, for choice B, 22 minus 2 is 20. 20 is not a multiple of 7. Therefore, choice B is discarded. Now, for choice C, 30 minus 2 is 28. 28 is a multiple of 7. Therefore, 30 is a possible value for n. Choice C is correct. When the integer x is divided by 3, the remainder is the integer r. Which of the following is a possible value of r? So, according to the division formula, x is the dividend, 3 is the divisor, there is a quotient, let q be the quotient, and the remainder is r. Here, we need to keep in mind that the remainder is always less than the divisor. So, since the remainder is always smaller than the divisor, then r must be less than 3. Therefore, a possible value of r is number 2, because 2 is less than 3. Choice E is correct. The division formula states that the dividend is the divisor times the quotient plus the remainder. And also, we know that the remainder is always smaller than the divisor. Here, what happens when the general formula is divided by the divisor? If we divide everything by the divisor, we get the following. Something like this over the divisor, over the divisor, and over the divisor. Finally, we have that the dividend over the divisor is the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor. Remember that since the remainder is always smaller than the divisor, this division, this fraction, will always B between 0 and 1. For instance, if D over D is 1.6, just to pick a number, 
um, we can rearrange this number like 1 plus 0 0.6 now we know according to this formula that the integer 1 is the quotient and this number 0 0.6 since it is between 0 and 1 it has to be the remainder over the divisor now for the example shown below when the positive number p is divided by 5 the result is 11.8 what is the value of the remainder here we will use this formula the dividend is p the divisor is 5 and the result is 11.8 we can rearrange 11.8 like 11 plus 0 0.8 according to the formula 11 the integer must be the quotient and 0 0.8 must be the remainder over the divisor we know that the divisor is 5 Now, let R be the remainder, therefore, 0 0.8 is R over 5. The remainder is 5 times 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is 8 over 10. Finally, solving for R, the remainder is 4. Choice D is correct. When the positive number n is divided by the positive integer j, the remainder is 14. If n over j is 134.08, what is the value of j? So, here we will apply the formula shown in the previous slide. The dividend over the divisor is the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor. And the remainder over the divisor is always between 0 and 1. Here, the dividend is n, the divisor is j, and this division is equal to 134 plus 0 0.08. As you can see, 100 and 34 is a quotient and the remainder over the divisor is 0 0.08. We know that the remainder is 14 and J is the divisor. Therefore, in order to find the value of J, we will do the following. 0. 0, 0.08 is 14 over j. We can write this decimal as a fraction and it is 8 over 100. Solving for j, j is 14 times 100 over 8. We can cancel this one and this one. Here we get 2 and 25 we can cancel 2 and 14 here we get 7 finally j is 7 times 25 j is 175 choice d is correct